What's up, my fellow movie lovers, and welcome back to the Luke Ponto channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the thumbnail. Let's get another video out of the way. So it's good today, guys. It's December 1st, so at the time of recording. It's time for another Blu-ray haul here on my channel. So got quite a bit of stuff to go through here. I'll show you guys quickly this stack I got. So I think I got about like 20 or so in the stack. I have probably well, I'll probably count it. But we'll see. And so yeah, let's just get right into it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell, and also hit the thumbs up as well. So guys, got some Criterions and quite a bit of new releases to go through, and also some Black Friday deals. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Criterions first. I'm going to pick up three for the sale. So first one up is Videodrome. So if you guys know me, I love Videodrome. I did review this for the channel. I will put the link down below that goes to any of the movies that I reviewed here on the channel. So... Video drum is one of them. I just love the the box for this. Like I seriously do, and the and the case is actually like a videotape. So I love that about this release. One of my top fifteen favorite movies of all time. Absolutely check out Video Drum. And next one is Shallow Grave on the Criterion Collection. The very first film from Danny Boyle. I really do like this cover though, but it kind of feels a little bit plain if I'm being honest, but yeah, I really enjoyed Shallow Grave. I saw this for the first time last year, surprisingly, and I really enjoyed it. This is one of Ewan McGregor's best performances, and this was his, actually his very first performance. You guys can believe that. Yeah, I love Shallow Grave. Definitely check it out. And my last one is one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time, Straw Dogs, the original Straw Dogs. I did watch this back in September, Wait, was it September? Yeah, September I actually did watch this. Uh, thank you to my buddy Benji Sandergaard for sending me a link to watch this on YouTube. I love this movie. I Yes, I prefer this over the remake. I did review the remake on my channel if you guys want to go check that out. Um, but yeah, I love this original film with Dustin Hoffman directed by Sam Peckinpah. Absolutely check this film out. It's really good, but definitely not for everybody. And now let's get into the actual Blu-rays before we get into the 4Ks. First one I picked up yesterday at the time of filming. Put the cookie down. Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of my favorite Christmas movies. It is absolutely freaking hilarious. A father trying to get his, turbo man, his son a Turbo Man doll for Christmas. Absolutely hysterical with, with him and Sinbad. Childhood classic for me right here. I would absolutely... I'm going to watch this again for Christmas time. I'm, absolute, I'm absolutely going to watch Jingle All the Way again. And then next to you are a couple of uh, Black Friday deals. I got Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray. Yes, I know it's not the 4K, but I have this. I needed to add this to the collection. $8 for Black Friday at Walmart. So I was like, you know what? I got to snag it up. Another one that was $8. That's The Marksman with Liam Neeson. A film that I did not hate. Like, I know a lot of people really hate this movie, but... I think it's better than The Ice Road and Honest Thief, which I have Honest Thief on my shelf. But The Marksman, I think, is actually one of the better later um, Liam Neeson action thrillers. So I think this is actually one of the better ones. And next up, I finally bit the bullet on this one and actually decided to pick it up. Wrath of Man with uh, Jason Statham from Guy Ritchie. Total badass movie with, with Jason Statham. I did also did review this on the channel, so you guys, I'll leave a link in the description below that goes to my review for this. Really enjoyed Wrath of Man. Uh, next is The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. You know, I enjoyed the first film. I kind of like this one, so I figured I'd get it. Plus, it was only $10 for Black Friday, so couldn't pass that up. Now, don't go down to the comment section for this next one and say, Luke, why did you buy this? I thought you didn't like it. Well, I'll tell you the reason why I bought this. It was on sale for $8 on Black Friday. So I was like, you know what? You win, I'll buy it. And that is Snake Eyes. Yes, I just got the Blu-ray for Snake Eyes. Now, I don't like this movie very much at all, but you know what? For $8, I wasn't gonna pass it up, and I'm willing to give this film another chance. Like, uh, I will give this one another chance at some point. So there's Snake Eyes for you. 
We got some new releases here in this stash. First up is Respect with Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin. I rented this film before I decided to buy it, and I really enjoyed this. One of the better musical biopics out there. Jennifer Hudson transforms herself as Aretha Franklin. So yeah, if you guys have not seen Respect, definitely check this out. If you guys love Aretha Franklin, absolutely check it out. Reminiscence. Now, if you guys saw my initial review of this, I actually did like this movie. I gave it a B in my initial review. But on a, on a second watch, I did not like this as much. But... Obviously, I bought the Blu-ray. I'm willing to give it another shot, like, to really try to solidify my thoughts. But, I don't know. I'm mixed on this one. But, I still kind of like it, but it's not I'm not. It's not as just much as I used to. But, but, yeah, I'm willing to give Reminiscence another chance. So, yeah, there's that one. A movie that not a lot of people have heard of in this stack right here is Prisoners of the Ghostland um, with Nicolas Cage. Oh, and speaking of Nicolas Cage, I almost forgot to show this. Here's Pig. Yeah. Forgot to show this one right here. Uh, Pig with Nicolas Cage. I actually watched this in October, and I love this movie. I love Pig. Probably Nicolas Cage's best performance of all time, if I'm going to be honest. I know, hot take, but this might be my favorite Nicolas Cage performance. I love Pig. And then with Prisoners of the Ghostland, I like this movie. It's wild AF. Probably even more wilder than Willy's Wonderland, which I also have on my shelf. I don't think this one's the better movie, but you know what? It's wild. It's a lot of fun. A samurai horror flick with Nicolas Cage. Highly recommend this. And then the last for the Blu-rays they have is The Eyes of Tammy Faye with uh, Jessica Chastain and uh, Andrew Garfield. Directed by Michael Showalter, who also directed The Big Sick. I haven't watched this yet, but I've heard from AJ. My buddy AJ reacts to. Said this one was pretty good, so I think I might um, get a kick out of this one. So I picked up the eyes of Tammy Faye. Now let's get into the 4Ks. This first one was the only one that I bought on sale for the 4K for Black Friday. That is Die Hard. An absolute classic. And no, this is not a Christmas movie, okay? I'm, I respect anybody's opinion that say this is a Christmas movie, but to me, it, I do not do not count this as a Christmas movie. But I got it on the 4K because I love this movie. Even though I prefer Die Hard with a Vengeance over this one, it is still a classic action movie, for sure, with Bruce Willis. Back when Bruce Willis actually was a real action star, but now he's just kind of del delved deep into the crap fest, but... I love Die Hard. Absolutely check this out. And shout out to Cody Leach. This is his favorite movie of all time. And next up, I kind of feel dumb for not having this in my in a last month's haul, but here's The Green Knight. Um, I love the look of the slipcover, though, actually. I love it. It's nice and glossy. And yes, I got the 4... And uh, yes, I did get the 4K, as you can see. Um, if you guys saw my initial review of this, I loved this film. I gave it an A+. Upon thinking about it, I liked it less, gave it a 4 out of 5 or a B plus. And now on my letterbox, it's at a 3.5 out of 5 when I rewatch this film on 4K. It looks great on 4K, but man, th this, the way this film tells the story is just not clicking with me, if I'm going to be honest. But I still like this movie, and maybe if I watch it again, maybe my thoughts will either increase better or maybe just, just go back down. But I still enjoy The Green Knight for what it was, so definitely check this out if you haven't already. Next, you guys are going to be kind of mad at me for buying this, but I'm just going to get this out of the way. I liked this movie. I rented it from iTunes to see if I really wanted to get it, so I got it. It's Don't Breathe too. I got this on 4K. Now, I know, the plot makes no sense for this movie because Stephen Lang's character is a despicable person. Like, if you really think about what he did in the first Don't Breathe to Women in His Basement... You can't root for this guy, like, to be the hero of this story. But I had fun for, with this movie for what it was. And for and on 4K, I wasn't really going to pass it up. So, yeah, I did get Don't Breathe 2. And the last three are the much more newer releases. So let's get into it. Candyman, 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 Candyman. If you guys saw my initial review of this, I love this movie. 
I love Candyman. And also, I will put a link in the description below that goes to my review for The Green Knight as well as this movie. I love this movie. I'm going to post it above me for Candyman. You can't really see it, but yeah, I love this movie. Cannot wait to rewatch it over and over again. I rewatched this as soon as I bought it. Looks really good on 4K, and I absolutely still love this film. So yeah, check out Candyman if you haven't already. By the way, it's a sequel, not a remake. It's a sequel. And next one, this next one right here in the stash, Zach Goller is going to be so proud of me for this one. The Jungle Cruise. I know he actually really loves this movie because he's a huge rock fan. And I love Dwayne Johnson as well. I mean, him being, and, uh, it's just a ride on the Jungle Cruise and basically Dwayne Johnson telling dad jokes. I mean, he's a wisecracking skipper. I mean, it's like Jungle Cruise skippers. If you guys know what I mean, but yeah, Emily Blunt was also really good in this movie. Jesse Plemons, Paul Giamatti, Jack Whitehall. And Wame Colette Sarah made this film extremely fun. Brought back so many memories of me watching Pirates of the Caribbean and Indiana Jones as a kid. I really did enjoy Jungle Cruise. If you guys have not seen it, definitely check this out. It's on Disney Plus right now. So definitely check it out. And last but certainly not least, I rewatched this last night at the time of filming. Oh my god, I love this movie. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I also did review this on my channel as well as uh, Jungle Cruise. I had to get this on the 4K. Um, I love Shang-Chi. Simu Liu is a, star, is a superstar in the making with the MCU. Cannot wait to see what else he does next. Aquafina had, in, had me in stitches with this movie. She was absolutely so freaking hilarious in this one. And Tony Lee Young as Shang-Chi's father, aka the real Mandarin this time. Perfect. I love Shang-Chi. If you guys did not see this in theaters, it's on Disney Plus now for free. Or if you guys don't have Disney Plus, go out and buy this movie right here. Please buy Shang-Chi. It is absolutely worth having in your collection. And guys, that's it. That's all everything I picked up in the month of November. December might be a little bit more slow because it's getting around to Christmas time. But I might try to pick up a few things. One thing I'm really looking forward to picking up is The Last Duel. So look forward to that. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also hit the thumbs up as well. Look forward to more awesome content hitting the channel very, very soon. I'm still going to keep up with my Wes Anderson series before uh, French Dispatch comes out on Blu-ray. So yeah, you guys got that to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.